how I do my research using Lightroom on images, Lightroom Mobile to be precise. And this is not the premium version. So if you're using the premium version, I'll still stick with me because it's the same features, only that premium version has the maxing, healing, and other subtle features. But for now, let's go with the basics. So I usually start with my edits, of course. I don't need to crop or add a already existing process. I'm starting everything afresh. So I usually start from my details. Now these details, I like to keep it at the utmost max, all right? Then I hold over to my clarity. This clarity, I enjoy leaving it at 20 highest. It brings out something. Texture between, between five to 10. In between that range, I prefer 10 too. My grain, let's leave it at 20 because my grain always does wonders. Okay, let's leave it at 18. Now you should be able to see why the grain was applied and the texture and the clarity. You would have seen the difference by now. Let's, you see how it was before? Not too good. Now you can see something is coming out from the face and you're getting the full details. So let me increase my vibrance this vibrance brings out vibrance is like bringing out all the existing color but improving it okay see the difference now between vibrance and saturation vibrance just brought out the color and and improved it but saturation we just add more spice more color that is not needed so sometimes i usually reduce my vibe uh, my saturation while leaving my vibrance at a high number so let's leave saturation as where it was zero okay or minus one anyone so i uh, head over to my lighting now exposure should not be more than this if you expose it too much it's li too bright or too dull so contrast um just a little bit of contrast to the left reducing it actually then your highlights we don't need much highlights here trying to reduce the highlight and increase our shadows to bring out all the all the important details on the image then increase our white a little bit while dropping the black to the left this black now helps the black places in the image to pop all right now you see the difference between then and now so we are done with all the features but now let's try a little bit of color grade now color grade is kind of adding hue saturation to a particular image but then this here and saturation is more like trying the shadows the mid tones the highlights and then the global lighting but we are going to be using only shadows for now because basically we don't need to apply all the mid tones and high tones here for now so I'm just going to increase my luminance and if you increase the blending to the right you see you see how um the color came out more if you reduce it to the left you see it reduced so let's leave it at the right a little bit less maybe 50 60 yeah then balance if you go to the left you see it's imbalance at the left you go to the right it's still the same but i think bringing it somewhere near the middle of both sides actually gives it a cool effect on the right hand side and kind of warm if warm, warmer effect on the right hand side so let's leave it at there now some people will increase this to the maximum i call it the color grade no so you just have to leave it closer to the white Unless a design that you totally want to change the hue of the design, then you can actually increase to the max. But for now, we're not trying to increase, we're not trying to like, we're not trying to make it um the whole color and stuff. We just want to add a little bit of thing to it. You can choose the particular color you want to color grade it to. I think putting it at pink doesn't give the vibe we need to. Blue will actually give it because the color of the, of the skyscraper we used and the background, everything was turning out to be kind of bluish. So let's stick to that, and now we can see how good the retouch is. You can see the before and the after. You can choose to save your presets. 
here's um the ones i've saved before you can choose to save your presets here create presets and name it after you or whatever but now i'm going to save it okay. now you can choose any of these No watermark. Good. My chance to export it out to the real world to somebody. So JPEG is good. now JPEG and SRG. Hmm.